I am super excited to bring you Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. This game is near and dear to my heart, as it's based on one of my favorite tabletop games. Uh, Vampire the Masquerade was something I played a ton of during my teenage angst years. It was actually the first game that I ever story told in, and um, it, to this day I still love this game and remember a whole bunch about it. Well, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines is the second adaptation of that game um, for a computer software. The first one was ridiculous, it was like a hack and slash Diablo-esque game where you play a crusader that comes to modern times and the story is just a giant mess. Um, however, this game's a lot more fun. Problem, this game is a giant mess in another sense. It's fucking buggy as hell. Uh, exhibit A. Me trying to play this game two hours ago, right after I booted it out of Steam. Whoa! Where the fuck did he go? Where's... how do I get inside? Is this... Well, yeah, feed attempt failed. Oh, I just did presents. That's useful. How the fuck do I open the door? I forgot how to... Act. hold on. Well, fuck. Alright, guys. Fun times. Yeah, that wasn't that pretty. Okay, so, that having been said, I went out and I found the unofficial patch version 9, which is basically put together by fans of the game and fans of the universe, that fix a ton of the bugs for this otherwise beautiful game. So hopefully we won't have any more trouble. I say that as I cross all of my fingers as I click the new game button. Nice. Alright. This game gives you two options. Option one is to answer a series of questions and uh, do that to create your character, and the second is to go directly to your character sheet. Now I'm a bit of an old hand at Vampire, so I'm going to actually go directly to the character sheet, but before we do that, let's play through this quiz. I want to be a dude. Alright, some drunken mortal attempt to pick a fight with you in a bar. Do you trash the place with the fool's broken bodies, or clear the pla wa place out with a mere wave of your hand? Number two. You just started playing that new cool computer game, but it's full of bugs. Oh man. Okay, shots fired, fans of the game. Um... Decide to look into code yourself to patch things up, email the developers to get the game fixed, or go on several forums and complain about the issues. Let's look into the code. Being a night person, you watch a lot of late night TV movies. Three movies are on. Which one would you watch? Fist of the Monkey King, a wire foo film where, with scenes where Wu beats 20 arm, armed men with his bare hands, Sword of the Bushi, Japanese film with a lone samurai cuts a path through a gang of Yakuza, or Sergeant Mergestein 3, a cop that doesn't play by the rules and takes a drug cartel that kidnapped his daughter with only his trusty 44 to back him up. I want to play Sergeant Mergestein. Um, walking home late at night, you hear footsteps, you glance back, and suddenly realize someone is following you. Do you turn and confront them? You're at a nightclub, having a damn good time, when you realize you're out of money. No cash, no fun. Do you seduce somebody and have them pay for your drinks? Time it just right so you can snatch a bottle when the bartender isn't looking, or go home and read a book. Let's seduce someone. An intruder has broken into your house and entered the room. You have no choice but to confront them. Do you overpower and wrestle them to the ground? Grab a heavy lamp and smash their face in? Grab your gun and fire. I'm gonna grab my gun and fire. I guess I have a gun. In the world of darkness, I'm gonna have a gun. I sure hope. While in a club, you spot your ex-roommate who skipped out after taking your stuff and leaving you with a stack of bills. He looks dead drunk. Do you grab him by the head or repeat bash his face into the bar? Wow. Or call the cops. See you in court, buddy. Do you want to turn or you want to turn this first date into a second one? How do you do it? Intelligent conversation, the right wine, ordering language of ethnic food. I guess. Um it seems kinda douchebaggy, like that guy from Wayne's World, but we'll go with that. It's better than my face. World's a cruel and unforgiving place, but you've gotten by so far. So far, why? Because I keep it a secret. Based by the Tremere clan. Tremere creators of blood magic called Tharmaturgy. Not generally trusted by the other clans. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Oh, never, never, never show me any more help text. Alright, um. I don't want to be a Tremere. I don't. 
I want to completely start over. Let's do the C, because if I go here, then I can look at them all. All right, we've got Clan Bruja. Um, they have a problem with Frenzy, which is when the beast vampire part of you just flips out and you start killing people. That's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, we've got Gengrel. Uh, the Gengrel, wow, he's crouched. Uh, these wild loners that are more connected to animals, they can grow claws and be awesome, but they also Frenzy easier. Hmm. Malkavian, these guys are straight up crazy. And while this guy looks like Johnny Knoxville, they are nuts. Um, you're supposed to be able to see the future, but they're so damn crazy that good luck getting it out of them. Also, the girl, fucking, the girl Malkavian dresses like a stripper. I just thought you should know. All right. Um, Nosferatu, I really want to play one of these someday, but probably not today. The Nosferatu are hideous monsters that by being embraced basically turn into that. Bondage clothing optional. Um, they're pretty rough. They can't walk around on the street because they pretty much get seen and cops get called and they get shot up. So that makes this game really hard. And because what I want to explore most is the social part of this game, because that's what I missed last time, I'm not going to play this. Although maybe someday I will do an Nosferatu only run. Also, check it. All right. Somebody who designed the characters for this game was like, all the girls are going to dress like strippers. All the dudes are going to dress like fucking... Well, this guy dresses like a bondage kid. I don't know. All right, Torador. This is probably the one we're going to pick because I just can't help it. I really want to be that guy. Um, the Torador are like the artists and lovers of the vampire world. Um, they... In this game, apparently, they lose humanity twice as fast, but in the other game, they actually get stuck by beautiful pieces of art that basically stick them in place, and they can't tear themselves away from perfect music, perfect beauty, perfect art, and that makes it a pain in the ass because, you know, a perfect sunrise can be pretty damn shitty. But, uh, alright, we're not gonna... we're just gonna keep going. Here's Tremere, the one they wanted me to pick. They are mysterious and enigmatic and masters of blood magic that basically makes them be able to shoot fireballs and be cool, but I don't want to be one of those. Then Ventru, the fucking middle management of the vampire world. Um, they're the leaders of the Camarilla, which is a faction we will talk about pretty soon. I'm going to let the game do some explaining, and then I will pick it up from there. Um, no blood from feeding on animals or low-life humans. That's weird, because in the game, basically you have to choose something that you can't feed. Oh my god, his eyes follow you. How creepy is that? Look at- Oh my god, his eyes rolled back into his head. Alright, well that's fucking weird. Alright, let's be a Torador. So that I can talk myself out of everything. Or talk myself into everything. Let's see. Velvet Rope do Doorman. Starving Artist. Um... You live with the clothes on your back. Because of your poor background, you don't have any compunction against wearing ugly clothes. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I might I'll be a starving artist, or I might be a velvet rope doorman. So let me see this. I think this is what I'll be. Um, yeah, no. Let's be a starving artist. Let's go all the way. Beautiful. All right, so this is our character sheet. Everything's rated one through five. My perception's already up one. That's, I guess, from my uh, thing. But I'm trying to see. I have no idea. Well, let's see. What do we got? Um, charisma and appearance, because appearance makes me more attractive, and charisma makes me more persuasive. Nothing better than that. And manipulation has the haggle feet, but I give no fucks about that. All right, mental. Uh, defense and hacking, research and intimidate, ranged combat and inspection. Inspection is super useful because it helps you find items to pick up. But um, wits, what is this nonsense? Probably improve hacking. I, I want to get good at stuff. <laughs> All right, let's look here. Talents, brawl, dodge, intimidate, subterfuge. Motive, meet f feats of seduction. <coughs> That's slightly weird. Research and persuasion. So, like, 
there. And then investigation, haggle, computer knowledge. I'm going to come back to computer knowledge. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to just jack up on these. And then, oh, can I make it three already? Oh, man, I'm so good at seduction. That's really uncomfortable. Let's put one in dodge. Um, this one skill, security, I really want to get good at lockpicking stuff. So we'll just hope that that works out. Now, the three disciplines that uh, the Torador have are Auspects, which is like the ability to read auras and increase your senses. Celerity, which is supernatural vampire speed, which is one that you see in every movie ever. And Presence, which is basically my ability to inflict my personality upon other human beings, which is pretty cool in game, but in this game is kind of lame. So what we're going to do is we're going to just pump it into Celerity, because... With combat skills like these, I'm going to need all the help I can get. James Salvador seems like a decent name, so let's go with that. <laughs> what? Oh, I totally forgot about this. Yeah, you totally bone your sire, and that's how you become a vampire. had so much sex. That was like nine condoms. That's awful. It's really creepy, like, the way the characters move in this. Jeez. There we go. Oh, there's a sexy lady that just boned me. Psych, she's dead. Oh, nope, she's not. She's just paralyzed. Uh, stake to the heart in this game is only paralysis, Please. not death. So... My Here fellow we are. kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siren. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, but the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Whoa, did you see that perspective shift? What the hell? That was some weird ass shit. Okay. Which leads to the fate of the ill oh, man. project. Alright. Without a sire, most child <laughs> Sorry are about that. to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! Here's the prince changing if his Mr. mind. Rodriguez yep. <laughs> let me finish. I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. I like that strategic uh, that strategic screen black out there so that they could have... Oh, never mind. Yep. All right, we're still going. Here we go. 
screen the scene is so dark that we can't really see anything i might have to go in and adjust the brightness just for recording sake Your sire tragic my apologies but you see there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must must adhere to if we wish to survive the prince is kind of a when douche someone, anyone breaks these laws they undermine the well -worn also he walks silly society. everybody in this Understand game walks silly predicament allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior so what i'm offering is not generosity but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire this is your trial you will be brought to santa monica there, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. Okay. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. Now, it's kind of creepy that no one in this movie, like, they don't blink. The vampires don't blink. But it's also kind of neat because they don't have to. And that's something from the game that most older vampires forget to blink because it's just something they don't have to do anymore. I mean, their eyes aren't making liquid. It's just they are what they are. Um, let's just do this. Oh, cool. Alrighty then. So here we are uh, back in this alleyway. Fucking hate that door. Let's talk to our buddy Jack. <laughs> what a scene, man. Woo wee. <laughs> then it is ploppy out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so, uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? Wait a sec. Who are you? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide and we'll trade Is this guy Joe DiMaggio? Is this Jake the dog? He sounds just like him. I am totally in, Jake the dog. Help me. Uh, why don't we, uh, step out back here? I like it where I am. At least I'm out of that theater. Nice and stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. Now, we ain't got much time. Somebody's still you in on the bare bones stuff at least. You know, could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? Nope. Oh man, we're popping a cherry here. Ha ha ha. Oh, you're gonna love this. Alright, check it out. Blood, it's your new rack of lamb, your new champagne, blood, your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready though, cause hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. What do I do, man? Down around the corner there, I saw this human. Or else hope he can't find his car. <laughs> what do I do? All right. You go down there casually. Like, you creep up on him. You bear those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something. Because it'll come so naturally you think you've done it a thousand times already. All right. Um, won't he become a vampire? <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain them dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. Okay. All right. Great. Okay, let's take a crack at that brightness if we can. Just a little bit more or something. Yeah, right about there. Okay. Continue. That should make it easier to see. Yeah. I can actually see Jack. Alright, cool. Yeah, and there's still plenty of shadow. Alright, let's look around here. Where's that human? Doo, doo, doo. Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. Bro! Yeah, there we go. Alright, fed up. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Hell yeah, you're feeling it. I can see it in your eyes. You're a born-again predator. 
feel that blood bubbling inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. That's what it's all about right there. I don't know how I feel, but it does feel good. All right, now. You got the blood, you're feeling all kick-ass, feeling better than your best day living, but wait, it gets better. All kindred. Kindred, that's a our word in vampire. All kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. Yeah. Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet. Still, a chance of immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. So I'm gonna live forever. Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic? A shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you catch the sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? Got it. Okay, now. What the fuck is this? You get inside here and head upstairs. Meet up with it. Just do it. Okay. Let's see what the ruckus is. That's better. Hey, look at that. All right, here we are. Let's head up. Same jump. I wish I could turn those off, but it seems that my turning off help text did not turn that off at all. Blood heal, blood fire. Oh, I can heal with my blood? That's new to this patch. That's pretty cool. Presence, celerity, aspects. Okay, celerity. Hey, there's a lockpick. Great. Grab that. Come down here. Stay away from the windows! Oh, it's a Sabbat raid. Sabbat? Yeah. Christ, I was hoping to spray this shit to layer. Uh, Sabbat. No. They're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, right? So what's up? Sabbat got wind of the gathering leaders, so they figured they'd raise a little hell. What's the prince, the prince of? No time for political run now. Job one, get out of here alive. Spot might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, a raging savage. Nothing a fledgling like he wants to mess with. What am I supposed to do? Heads up. Back away. All right, so this burly, unkind racial stereotype is uh, the sheriff. And the sheriff is he who is in charge of taking care of all of the prince's enemies. Just like that. Normally the sheriff is a powerful, um, physically fucking destructive vampire that lets the prince do the thinking and pretty much takes over. This guy, however, is a freaking monster. Look at him. Who knows who the hell he is? Dumb, frenzied, sabot bastards. All right, we gotta put Moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. All right, hit it. Great. Quest log. Okay. Yep, let's do things like that. Popped it. I really love this game because there's no lockpicking minigame. You just do it. So nice. Oh, all right, what? Shortcut. Well, nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? I don't know how to handle cool. myself. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes for the most sabot assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and that's what you can expect. Wait, I've said that list of people from high school. See you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's, and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Okay, I get it. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We live in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a fledgling like you. 
What do you mean? That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Gorilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. I see. All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. All right. You do what you gotta do. Bath, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These would be the least of your sin before the night's out. Nice. So look around here. You gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. I'll find it. Now... This, oh, yeah, the masquerade. Okay, whatever. Um, so this game puts a lot of simplicity on it, but um, the Camarilla are basically the good guy, air quotes, vampires. They believe that vampires should hide and keep themselves sort of secret from humanity and that they are best served by following this code of rules. And this code of rules is like, don't enter someone else's haven if it's another vampire don't kill people when feeding, don't draw attention, and don't break what they call the masquerade. Now, the masquerade is like that that veil that keeps vampires from humans, that, uh, you know, just don't let yourself be seen, don't get caught, all this stuff. The Sabbat, while this guy introduces them as mindless, bloodthirsty assholes, and some of them are, mostly they're just vampires that believe that vampires should rule humanity, that by letting the sheep know that you're their masters, you could cull them and just make an asshole of yourself, but you can keep ma make things easier. Take your rightful place as the leaders of the world. Well, that doesn't exactly work the way they want, at least not most of the time. All right, so let's look around. We got, oh, a computer. Let's do this thing. Safe. How many games have I played where this is what you do? You just type on the keyboard. Not bad. Babby Hackett. Alright, unlock. Alright, thank you. Home. Wit. Left click. Oh. Ah, oh, come on, guys. I could have could have got the password right there. Alright, whatever. Got the card. Lock and load. There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. Check out things from top side. Cool, man. Take it easy. Huh. All right, let's go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jack, that's just overkill. That backbreaker probably did nothing on top of the ridiculous stab wounds. Oh, I've been shot. Okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. Jack, what do I do? I need the tutorial on health. Let's waste the on life, you sabbat vatos. You get a wing? Hey, hey, look at them potholes. Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. someone down the stairs here not the freshest catch but it'll do cool well when it comes to feeding it's quality blood you're looking for not the quantity bums and low life don't pack the same punch that a healthy well-bred human will juice bags with a pedigree that's the good stuff but you gotta take what you can get you ever had a phd kid Ooh, that's good stuff if you say so remember what i said though don't kill them at least not the innocent ones you're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. Let's say I get a little overzealous. What happens? An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's going to cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. I'm tired of this sermon. I'm going to go get a drink. All right, now go feed. So, what he's talking about, and what I'm incredibly susceptible to with this character, is frenzy. And now, f every vampire has this beast, this monster, this primal, unhuman thing curled up in their chest. And it's sort of sleeping most of the time. But it's what drives your hunger, and it's what drives your fear, and it's what drives your anger. 
And if you get out of control and start losing humanity, just murdering people and stuff, that beast bubbles up and you aren't even human anymore. And in this game, that means game over. And in that vampire game, like the tabletop, that means the DM takes control of your character and you're done. So it's a really big deal. And so what we want to do, especially since this character that I'm playing now uh, takes double humanity damage and gains double humanity for helping, it's really important that I be a pretty decent guy. Otherwise, I'm going to lose control right quick. All right. Hey, hobo man. Rah! Jeez. All right. Crab nipple? Okay. Not quite as good, huh? Yeah, you can do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive being an animal if you stomach that kind of thing. Well, give it a try. Killing rats has no impact on your humanity. That's kind of important. <laughs> Just couldn't bear it, huh? Ah, it's okay. But like kindred society look down on that kind of thing anyway. I can see why. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Just one guy? Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. Okay. The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows. And don't let him see you. Okay. All right, go. Thanks, buddy. All right. Let's go. Now, this game, the stealth mechanics are really rough. Being able to be on or be hidden is very dependent on being in the shadows, not just like staying unseen. So like you see that meter, that meter is how much I'm hidden by these shadows. And I can get to 100, which is not hidden at all. And dude won't even know. I can just go like... Oh, I got seen. So, like, I have to sort of time it because douchebag, if he's looking, will get me right away. Let's see here. Can I use celerity to go faster? That's pretty cool. Go, 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 Fuck. Come on, dude. What the hell? All right. I wish it wouldn't reset me. I just fight the guy and get on with it, but... There's no real other way to sneak around here. You have to sort of sneak this way through this stupid light. Can I push these? No. Push the other crates. What the hell is that? Where's our asshole? There he is. We're gonna wait. We're gonna just watch you for a minute. Like, where am I supposed to go? There's shadows to over here. Can I go over here? Oh, Jesus. Alright, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> God, get on with this. Alright, there we go. I am to stealthist. Seems that shovelhead outside just got separated from his pack. Move it too. Go take care of him. Don't worry. He's probably oh, green. Get revenge. That is pretty green. It's a bot, you see. They don't have the most rigorous training program. In fact, that poor sod is lucky if he knows he's a vampire. How can that be? Yeah, he's probably just turned and beaten over the head. They like to do that to the shock troops. Cannon fodder. Put him out of his misery. Alright, I'll do my best. He is a vampire, so be ready. I was born ready. Go get him. I'm on it. Alright, I get to fight. Fist fight, actually. Now, here's a kind of neat thing. This was one of the cool games where you can switch to third person. And so I'm going to switch to third because you have to for melee combat. And I'm going to charge out here and punch this man in the face. Oh, he's a fucking tire iron. Come on, man. Come on. Well, I know martial arts and stuff. I did a pretty decent spin kick. Come here. Asshole. Come on. What up? What up? What up? Turn you to ash. Tire iron. Alright, cool. Equip that guy. Not bad. Alright, let's go first person again. What do you think? That's that. Sounds like you got another pack moving, though. The Sabat are going all out. Better head underground. Avoid 
with straight bullets. Okay, sounds like a good strategy. Right, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. All right. There we go. Oh, what up? Combat is not the only solution for sticky situations. You can use your feats and disciplines in dialogue. Okay. Stop. You. Just stay back. Keep your distance. Talk. Now, who the hell are you? Are you involved in all this? Because I'm going to radio this in, and SWAT will be all over the place. Wow, I could do any of these? Um. Let's see. Well, there it comes. They're going to drive the gunman down here. Do you want that? do with my presence. I guess that's number four. Um, with me at your side, you may stand a chance. Yeah, okay. Alright. This way. This will lead us up to the warehouse. We can maybe sneak out that way. Go ahead. Er. Alright, let's go fight up some dudes. Oh, stealth kill? Alright, hold on. Um, stealth kill. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Fuck yeah. There we go. Not bad. Alright, what do we got here? Not sure what's going on. Oh, whoa, hey Jack. Like the keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going Oh forward. my that dude got killed and I lost humanity for it. Great, just my luck. Uh okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna blood buff, because that's what it makes you do here. It's telling you that you can use buffing to increase your stats temporarily, so I can do this, and then I can lockpick this door. Uh, pretty cool. Okay. Then, let's go back to Slarity. Okay, I shouldn't have got that cop killed. How's my hold on, character sheet? <laughs> oh, man. I am going to die. Okay. Uh, I will explain these as we go. What does it want me to do? It wants me to use Auspex. Oh, Jesus. Where's my damn tire iron? Punch this guy to death. Okay. Urgh. Urgh. I am so bad at melee combat. So bad. Wow, that's awful. Where's my freaking tire iron? Alright. So Auspex. Oh, out. hold on. There's no need to go stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score though. Head through here. Come to an elevator around the way. Okay. Meet you there. Meet you there. Don't let them catch you. No problem. Alright. So Auspex is vampiric supernatural senses. It's the ability to see and hear and do everything better. Actually when I turn it on. I even get a little bit brighter on the screen. I can see deeper into the darkness. Now, that's pretty cool. The thing that's really cool is Auspex at its higher levels, which I don't have, are um, actually allows you to see people's auras. Like, you can sort of see it around them now, but, like, the higher your level, the further you can see it. You Eventually, you can even see it through walls and stuff. All right, presence is something we already use. Presence is your ability to supernaturally influence people with your personality. So let's fucking do it on this guy, because these tutorial things make you there. Yeah, you scared of me now? I'll tire iron you. Or I won't, because I apparently put away my tire iron again. I have got to figure that out. That was ridiculous. All right. Let's be here. What is this? Oh, this is going to be celerity. Okay. Celerity is supernatural vampire speed, which actually doesn't make you any faster in this game, it just slows down time. Which I'm still not fast enough to block his attacks. Hitting the button, but it takes a bit. God damn, let's trade blows, why don't we? Alright, whatever. Tire iron in your face. Alright, that should be that. Not bad. Alright. Oh, this goddamn thing. Yeah, so you can pick up objects. This is like their... We have we made a physics engine. You better use it. Huh? Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. That's not good at all. Alright. Detected by your enemy. 
you fucking kidding me? You're gonna make me do this all right, over and over and over until it works. All right. Huh? There, that's better. If you don't step all over the other ones, he doesn't come and find you. He goes to the source of the sound. Whoa, Jack, you're floating. <laughs> Sabat moving up in here. It's the fucking locals are about to take one for the hood. Jeez. So what do we do? Yeah, they probably seen too much. Here, take this 38. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots of it will take down a human. Thanks, well, I I'm think. Well, I'm gonna want it back, so don't go die in losers. I don't use guns much. They're noisy, they're clumsy, practically useless against vampires, but still, a kindred's gotta keep up with the times. And in modern-day Los Angeles, that means coming strapped. Useless against well, vampires? Yeah, you know, some are more lethal than others, of course. Watch out for those shotguns. Jack does not those like shotguns. Smart, I, tell you. I hear you. Head up and clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I'm gonna make sure there's no stragglers around outside. Alright, cool. Later, man. Okay. Ba doop, ba doop, ba doo. My little revolver here. Yeah. It's actually funny. It, uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. There, you have to actually hit one before it lets you go, which I thought was the most ridiculous thing. Also, why am I crouched? Okay. Just lock and load. so terrible with guns, I can shoot people in the head multiple times and they won't die. Ow, you fucker. This is like a slap fight. Come on. There we go. There's some ammo for my crappy gun. Alright, Jack, where are you? Here you are. Hey, buddy. That's it, kiddo. Just like that and it's all over. Okay. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. That's it. Until the next night when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Harry Dodge spinning all that and so on and so on and so on. So this is normal? Well, to be honest, it came at a, well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabat. Now, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred at stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. You're losing me, Jack. Oh, boy. Oh, I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you've got a cab to catch. Was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but... Ah, hell. You'll figure it all out. I will, but I'd like to keep the gun. You make it back, stop in at the last round. It's too far downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. Now, I'm going to tell you a little secret about our friend Jack. Now, he doesn't tell you, and I may get to the point where he will, but Jack was actually a pirate I uh, back in the old days. And so he was. that's where the beard and the everything come from because your body sort of stays exactly where it was when you were embraced but he sort of turned biker now keep up with the modern times but our old friend was originally a pirate so he just doesn't give a lot of fucks these days anymore oh man home sweet home here we are this place blows well, we'll explore in the next episode. I think now's a perfect time to stop. We got through all of the tutorial stuff, so next time we hit the streets and we're our own man or woman or manly woman or womanly man. Anyway, it doesn't matter. See you next time.